Hey everybody, it's Mother Goose 27 and this is my final Steven Universe Future Review. Thank you so much for tuning in. I am emotionally just shredded. The final has me so sad, so happy, so it's just so bittersweet and I'm so excited to talk about it. So first off, sorry this is kind of late. I actually recorded this video already on Saturday, right after the finale, and it was a complete disaster. I tried to walk through every single episode. I forgot what episodes were which. I left episodes out. I was very monotone and boring, and it was a disaster. So, welcome to my new review, which to you is the first one, so my review. By the way, this video will contain spoilers. I am really sad that Steven Universe is ending, not just because it's over, but because I feel like Steven Universe was at its best. Let me explain. I've been pretty vocal on my channel that I was disappointed with how Steven Universe ended, but then I came to realize it's not my show, and I was happy that Rebecca Sugar and the Crew Universe got to end the show how they wanted to. And then Steven Universe Future came out, and it was literally everything I wanted the show to be. The action, the drama, the consequences, it was just so good. And like I said, Steven Universe at its best. And so it was really sad for me, and I'm sure for a lot of people, to see the show end at its best. But on the other hand, that is a fantastic way to end a series, and I really couldn't be happier about that. I really loved the season. It had so many good moments. The Pearl and Volleyball Fusion, both Jasper fights, the Lapis fight, and how she chose Mercy, fantastic. When Greg lost his hair, it broke my heart. The proposal, and our poor, wormy boy, just so many good moments. And there are so many others, but those are probably some of my favorites for, throughout the seasons. Rosebuds was honestly everything Steven the crystal gems, and Greg meeting those bubbled rose quartzes should have been. I could not be more happy with that episode. It was so awkward. I loved how Steven realized, like, okay, no, these gems aren't my mother. They're more like my sisters, and we're a family, and that they were hurt by her too. So beautiful. Ma, great episode. Fragments is the best episode in the entire series, period, Change my mind. Everything is fine and I am my own monster was the perfect climax for the series. Change my mind. I loved, loved, loved how everyone realized they had to come together to help Steven. That he spent his entire life helping them and taking care of them when he is only a child and now it is their time to take care of him. So beautiful and I love Steven's Godzilla wormy boy form. I thought it was absolutely poetic how Steven and Greg, Greg switched places. Steven went on the road and Greg finally got his own, his own home. So poetic. I know Greg pointed it out, but that just hit me. Hit me in the heart, not gonna lie. I loved how we finally got a confirmed Steven and Connie kiss. Finally, it has been like six seasons. It's been long enough. The final episode was just so bittersweet. There were so many happy moments, so many sad moments. It was beautiful and I loved it and I thought it was a great way to just say goodbye to the fans and the series as a whole. But there were a lot of things through the series that Steven went through that I could really relate to. Obviously not the whole aliens and turning into a giant monster, but just a lot of the feelings that he had were things I've had growing up. And so it just meant a lot to me to actually see that represented. In terms of the series as a whole, I would say most of the episodes were absolutely amazing. There were a couple average episodes and two episodes I really did not like. So like I said, overall, just a fantastic season. Could not be more happy with it. The songs were absolutely amazing. I don't think there was a single song I didn't like throughout the series. I'd Rather Be Me With You is the best song in the series. Change my mind. Overall, I would just say that this was a great, great season. The animation 
was fantastic. It was written really well. The voice acting was great. The music was great. And the hiatuses weren't too bad, so really can't complain there. I noticed that Cursed Pearl has begun, when I saw it, it was day one of the Forever Hiatus. I'm not ready. I'm not ready for Forever Hiatus, so thank you whoever's making the Cursed Pearl memes for reminding me that it's over forever. There were a couple plot threads that really bothered me that I wish they would have touched up in the season. That would include the cluster, what was in Lion's Chest? Seriously, I was so mad that they just teased us in the movie that it was open, and then they never revealed what was in there in Steven Universe. So, still kind of salty about that one. They're gonna tweet one day and be like, oh yeah, what was in the chest? It was the jacket Steven was wearing all season. Plot twist. Aquamarine and Eyeball, where did they go? What happened? I wish they would have tied up that thread. And where was our... Lapis and Peridot Fusion, fans have been asking for it for so long, and now they will never get it. Well, hopefully not. I really, truly hope that even if it's not from Steven's perspective, the world of Steven Universe isn't over, that there are more stories to be told. I'd love a Lars of the Stars spinoff, or a spinoff about just Steven and Connie and what they're doing after they left Beach City, or a series just about Greg and the Crystal Gems and how they're adjusting to life without Steven. Or a prequel series of the Great Gym War. That would be beautiful. I think out of everything I've said, that one's the most unlikely, but I would love that. Regardless, if it comes back or it's over forever, I just want to say thank you to the Crooniverse for just creating something that has meant so much to me and to so many other people. And thank you to the community. It has been fantastic being a part of this community. Reading all the theories, the fan art, the memes. I've loved it. And I'm really excited to see what we all band together around next. So, thank you. Well, that's the end of my review. I'm sorry it was really short and kind of all over the place. But it was either this or have a 30 minute episode that was really boring. So, what you gonna do? If you like this video, please consider leaving a like. That really, really helps the channel. I cannot tell you how much that helps me out. And if you want to see more content, consider subscribing to Join the Flock. If you want to see my other Steven Universe content, uh, it's all in the annotations. And um, I will see you in the next one. Mother Goose out.